So today's mini lesson is on how to read a dimension drawing. Okay, so here's a part. It has a whole bunch of dimensions on it. Um, and basically, you have to build this part from this drawing. So how do you do it? The way I would do it is I would look overall. So, right, if you're going to build this using the additive method in 3D modeling, I would look at the overall size of the part. And if you take a look at it, the width of the part is 3 units. The height of the part is 2.25 units. So what I would do is I'd make the part 2.25 by 3 and start there. Then I need to know what the depth of the part is. And the depth of the part is hidden down here. The depth of the part, you have to look around for it, is 0.25. Now, if you take a look at this dimension right here, this dimension has the actual dimension, which is this. It has dimension lines, which are the arrows. And it has extension lines. The extension lines are the lines that point to the part of the drawing where that particular dimension comes from. So when you look at that, it goes from this point right here to this point right here. That's how you read a dimension. So let's take a look at everything else. Now, when we talk about holes, you need to know three things when it comes to a hole. You need to know where it's located, both in the X coordinate and the Y coordinate, in the X plane and the Y plane. And you also need to know the size of the hole. So if I take a look at this, I see that the size of the hole is given with this hole note right here. This hole note says diameter, this is the symbol for diameter, 7 64ths. The through times 4, as you might have guessed, means the times 4 is there are 4 holes. Through means they go all the way through, so you don't need to know the depth of the hole. So to find the location of the holes, we have to look and see. All right, so this hole right here has the distance from this edge of 0.6875. Now the question is, well, how far is it from this edge? Because I need to know that also. You have to look over here and you see that it's nested amongst these as well. 0.625, here's your extension line that comes over to here, and they connect. So the distance from the top edge is 0.625. For this hole, the distance from the left edge is 0.6875. Here's an extension line. Here's an extension line. And please note that it always, whenever you have a hole, it always dimensions to the center of the hole, not to the edge of the hole. And again, we take a look at this hole. 1.289 down from the top edge. And 0.6875 over from this edge. Again, those two dimensions line up. What's the diameter of these other holes? Remember, it says through times four. That means all four of those holes are the same. That takes care of all the dimensions on this part called the bucket back. So now the question is, here's one that's a little different, right? So this particular one has two drawings that go along with it. And those two drawings uh, show an isometric view and they show a side view, all right? So what I would do, again, with this part, if I were doing additive, I would make a rectangle uh, and I would extrude it with a thickness, right? This part has a width of 4.25 and a depth of 2.125 and a height of 0.75. So I would make a rectangle 4.25 by 2.125 and I would extrude it 0.75 high. Note that that's the rectangle, but then you have these, these fillets on the four corners. I would do those fillets after with the fillet tool. And the question is, well, what's the size of that fillet? How big do I need to make that fillet? And a portion of a circle or a part of a circle is always shown with a radius. And if you take a look, it says R.25. That means the radius is 0.25. And the X4 means times four. There are four of them, one on each corner. So then you say, well, I've got two holes in this. How deep are they? How far from the edge are they on the X and the Y? And how big is the hole? Four things that you actually have to know. So we come down to this drawing. We take a look at this drawing. Well, if we make this hole 0.5 units from this edge and 0.375 from the top edge, 
in this hole, again, 0.375 from the top edge. And, well, how far is it from this edge? We, we, we don't know the answer to that, but we do know that it's 3.25 units from the center of this hole. So from center to center, if you look at the extension lines, you see that from this edge, I'm sorry, I misspoke, you see, so you have to be really careful. This one is 0.5 to center from this edge. This one is 3.25 from this edge. They both measure from the same edge, and they're both 0.375 from the top edge. Diameter is 13 30 seconds. There's diameter because it's a full circle, it's a hole, and it goes all the way through, and there are two of them. Now this particular drawing is a little bit different. This drawing actually has some radii, some diameters, it has holes, and it has angles, and all kinds of stuff going on. So let's take a look at this one. So this particular one has a rectangle that's 2.125 from this point to this point. And how tall is it? It is one unit tall. So I would draw a rectangle 1 by 2.125, and I would extrude it a depth of 0.5. The next thing I would do is cut off this angle, right? Can you see how that is a triangle that's cut off? And the question is, how far do I cut it off? And the answer is draw the line, and then from this back edge of the rectangle, come over, see the extension line, to here, to this part of the line, to right where that line meets, and dimension it as 1.125. Then extrude that, a cut, extrude that triangle, and you'll end up with that part. Next thing I would do is I would draw a circle from the center point of that rectangle right here. And if you take a look, what's the radius of that circle? Remember, it's a radius because it's only a part of a circle. I would draw it as a full circle and then put a line through it and then trim the back side of the circle and then extrude it. Then on the same point, because the center of this circle and the center of this hole are exactly the same point. So what I would do then is make a hole 0.375 inches in diameter. Again, note diameter that goes all the way through. Then I would make another hole up top. Again, you need to know depth. This symbol stands for depth. So the depth of that hole is only 0.5. And the diameter of that hole is 0.25. Now you have to know where it's located. Well, look at this. So it uses the object line as an extension line and this extension line. And it says it's 0.25 over from there. And then how far is it from this edge? From this edge, you go back 0.75 units. And that's where the center of that hole is. And again, two more holes. Make a sketch. This hole, the center, is 0.375 units down. This hole, this unit is 3.375 units up. And the distance from the right edge is 0.25 here, and it's the same here as well. Make those two holes a depth. Here's the depth symbol of 0.25. There's two of them. And the diameter of those holes is 7 64ths. So there's a little uh, demo of how to read a, a dimension drawing for a part. Um, now you give it a shot. You go make some parts and see if you can read the rest of these drawings for this uh, front end loader. Good luck. Any questions, be sure to ask your instructor.